Hello, Cappy. Welcome back, guys. I hope you all are doing well today. This is going to be for anybody with Capricorn placements in their chart. Make sure you all flip and switch the roles. Take what resonates. Leave what doesn't fit for your situation, guys. Anything you need to know about me is going to be down below in the description box, okay? Um, let's see what's going on, guys. Please be aware of the scammers on YouTube and on any other social media platforms, okay? Let's tap in, Cappy. Let's see what's going on, Spirit. What is going on for my Capricorn Collective? Any clear, honest, and accurate messages? What do they need to hear and know at this time? Please return any spell work, any dark magic that was sent to harm the Collective and their loved ones. Me and my loved ones return it back to the sender. Let's see what's going on here for my Cappies. Messages for Capricorn. <clears throat> Please and thank you. Okay, what's going on for Cappy? All right, so we have the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, coming out first. What else? The Seven of Swords. The King of Cups. Someone could have an Aquarius moon, could be a Scorpio here, a Virgo. Someone could have a Virgo Mercury. <clears throat> Okay, so I feel like you guys right now, or this could be somebody else in your energy, be sure to flip the roles, right? But somebody here is trying to be very discreet about something that they're getting. This could be a windfall of money with the Ten of Pentacles coming in. Um, I'm also, I just heard too, somebody here could be married and they're lying about being married. Or somebody could be cheating. I'm also getting though, somebody's a thief, somebody's stealing money. Okay, someone in your family could be or something like that. But the King of Cups is a married man, a married woman. Okay, and with the Seven of Swords right here and the Ten of Pentacles, either somebody is trying to keep... This could be somebody that has feelings for you here. They're trying to keep their feelings like hidden away, maybe away from their family. Okay, because their family could be trying to stop something from coming... I mean, from uh, coming into fruition for you and them or... Something like that. Yeah, the king and the queen of pentacles. The magician, the two of pentacles, the death card. Mm. Okay, let, let's let's keep going <laughs> before I keep. Let's see. What else? I'm getting a lot here. Okay, nine of cups in reverse. Yeah, under the ten of pentacles. What else? Someone have a Pisces, Jupiter. Okay, king of pentacles want to come out. I don't like how it came out. The moon, Cancer, Pisces. Yeah, what else? The queen of swords, the two of wands, bottom of the deck, three of wands. <clears throat> So, yeah, um, I'm getting a lot of messages with this. I'm trying to figure out where to even start, honey. This nine of cups in reverse, somebody is like miserable or sad or upset. This is like a shattered, like nightmare or a dream, like somebody's worst nightmare. This nine of cups too in reverse could talk about like, um, addictions and being just miserable or arrogant being really pessimistic as well or immature now this could be somebody in your family okay or somebody here could also i'm also getting to somebody could be sad or upset about something that happened and they're running kind of like running away from the truth they don't want to face what what this is so they're running, they're hiding, they're trying to stay like discreet. And I feel like if you're just queen of swords here, you could be getting fed up and you're trying to make a decision on what you should be doing. Okay, or you're you're making a decision, you're choosing a path here. Because I feel like you're waiting on somebody. Maybe you could be waiting on someone to reveal something or say something. 
to you, but I feel like they're running away. They're hiding. They're running away from the truth. Okay, but I feel like, you know, you're very discerning. So it's not like you don't, you don't know what the truth is, really. <laughs> okay, I'm also getting to, if this is somebody you're, wait, you're waiting for this person to come towards you, or you're, I don't know, this person is dealing with something very weird with their family dynamic. This could be an ex. Their ex could be like married or something. And I feel like their ex or your ex or whoever, somebody is plotting on someone. So this could be why this person is moving like this for some of you. They're trying to keep everything quiet because of the scheming and the conniving bullshit here that I'm getting. So I feel like you you kind of like cut this person off. You set boundaries. This person could be going through some sort of like divorce. And they're trying to get away from this person. Yeah, the tower. Yeah, the king of cups behind it. The queen of pentacles. Yeah, it's... um. Yeah, king of swords, queen of wands. There could be a lot of people involved in this. I feel like this person is trying to get a divorce or leave someone or this is you. And... <clears throat> this karmic they already got somebody but this karmic is like using the other person that they're with to plot against the person to plot against your person that's leaving them if you guys can follow what i'm saying you feel me? like an ex or something or your ex what is this ten of pentacles <clears throat> what's the ten of pentacles Okay, yeah, four swords in reverse, Libra, Jupiter. Three of wands again, the lovers. What's this ten of pentacles with this four swords in reverse? Seven of wands. Mm, yeah, the empress, three of cups. So this Ten of Pentacles is always, you know, it talks about building a legacy wealth, building generational wealth here. I feel like, yeah, but, you know, somebody's family is a challenge. Somebody is challenging someone. Somebody's family is. Okay, or it's just hard to, like, break free from whatever the fuck this is right here with this Ten of Pentacles. Somebody is awakening. Yeah, somebody here could be awakening to the fact that you <clears throat> you either have a Ten of Pentacles around you. This could be about money or this could be about like building a legacy with someone, getting married, settling down. You see somebody as the one, like the one that you can really build this empire with type stuff, you know. And um, it's, it's just a challenge here. It's just a challenge getting here. Something is blocked until someone here awakens to either what their family is doing behind their back to ruin their life or something like that. Because the Four of Swords, this talks about finding that mental strength, coming from out of like isolation, rejoining the world again, okay? Um, it could talk about restlessness, but I'm not, I'm not really getting restlessness from a particular person. Now, this could be you or your person. I'm getting more so someone is finally standing up for themselves, fighting back blocking something out or taking up for you know standing up for themselves and whatever it is that they fight for you know <clears throat> but i do feel like until this person can kind of like be honest here about what's going on this is the shit is blocked okay whatever is trying to come in for you and them it's like blocked because I feel like it's about you and somebody else. It's blocked until they can, like, get their shit together. You guys can be seeing 777. What's the Seven of Swords? Something is protected, too. Okay, yeah, the Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer. What else for the Seven of Swords? Queen of Cups in reverse. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Six of Swords in reverse. <clears throat> Someone can have an Aquarius Mercury here.
Someone is really having to stay in their ground with someone that is just very vindictive. Whoever this Queen of Cups is is very spiteful. They're vindictive here. This person... Mm. I don't know what the fuck their problem is. Yeah, King of Cups. Queen of Cups in reverse, King of Cups. So yeah, this is somebody's karmic partner. Mm. Yeah, so this is King of Cups going through this. What's this? What's this Queen of Cups in reverse? Yeah, somebody that someone got a family with, kids with. For some of you, this Queen of Cups is living a double life. Man or woman, they got somebody else. <clears throat> it's something like that. Someone gonna have a Pisces Mars placement. Yeah, whoever this is, <laughs> this this energy is annoying. <laughs> okay, it's very yeah. Nine of Cups upright and the Five of Wands. Somebody is trying to gain some sort of fame or recognition or success but they're trying to do it through someone else that's connected to that kind of like success or whatever they're destined to do here because the ten of pentacles always gives me like destiny kind of like you're going towards like ten of pentacles is everything you're building an empire starting a family you got ten of cups ten of pentacles but because you or your person both of y'all possibly you know is what i'm getting are connected to this you're meant to have this ten of cups ten of pentacles but someone is like really trying hard to make it theirs and it's not okay this six of swords in reverse definitely talks it talks about standing your ground okay um but it could talk about like trouble you know trouble kind of like heading your way or things are really rocky right now with some someone or somebody Whoever this is is very manipulative. What's um I feel like too you could see your person as I'm hearing something about codependency here. Somebody is codependent. Just be mindful too of your codependency issues coming up as well. Make sure you're not backtracking. Six of Swords in reverse, we talk about like delays being stuck. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? Be careful, you know, while you're, while you're driving. I heard something about an accident. What's the Six of Swords in reverse? Wow, the King of Cups in reverse? What? what <laughs> y'all see what i'm saying right the king of cups in reverse with the king of cups upright over here uh, give me more on this king of cups in reverse right here who the fuck is this who is this king because somebody is shape-shifting like a like they somebody is shape-shifting here what's this king of cups in reverse The Hermit. Could be a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. Or somebody got Virgo in their chart. Okay. So what I'm getting right. there, There's a karmic couple. Okay. There's definitely a karmic couple outside of you and your person. Right. Your person has an ex that probably got a karmic with them. and Or this could be your ex that's paired up with somebody. That's karmic. Right. I'm, I'm hearing like somebody here is a warlock. I'm getting a man, okay? The woman, she probably a dark witch anyway. Child, <laughs> this is a mess. <clears throat> I'm getting like some sort of family dynamic that was created here. This could be like some sort of like cult or coven or something like that. The King of Cups in reverse is like ruthless. They could be very ruthless, very, very manipulative, a gaslighter, very emotionally abusive, okay? And um, emotionally unavailable and just immature. Definitely somebody that's depressed, they're moody. 
someone is really having a hard time getting away from somebody, man. I don't know if it's just spiritually or it could be um actually physically. But it's just... I feel like somebody feels hella isolated, hella bound. But they, they, whoever whoever has the karmic couple, whoever's the karmic couple here, they work together though. And somebody is like really shape shifting. It's throwing me off. This reading is already throwing me off. Two of Swords, Two of Pentacles. You guys be saying two, two, two. Yeah, the Moon. Somebody could need some like psychiatric help. What's the King of Cups in Reverse with the Hermit? Yeah, the Seven of Swords. Whoever this is. The King of Cups in Reverse too could be like, both King of Cups could be, the King of Cups upright is, is a married man, right? King of Cups in Reverse could be like having an affair with a married man. Yeah, it's something like that. Somebody is like cheating. They're running around cheating. I feel like there's like, black, there's like spell work here too, but it's just, things just look vague right now with the moon. Okay, I'm, I can't wait to get to the moon to see what the fuck that is. But yeah, there's some fishy shit going on here. Somebody keeps cheating or running back to the same person. It's like they, they're, it's hard for them to get out of something. And I don't feel like that hermit is somebody doing the inner work here. I feel like that hermit is somebody cloaking themselves or hiding themselves, trying to be discreet. This could be like two people trying to run away from something that they did. Somebody is lying about something too. There's like lies and like a lot of sneaky shit going on with whoever this is. So who's this King of Cups upright? Like who the fuck? Who this King of Cups upright for this reading? <laughs> this reading will make me mad. Okay, the King of Swords in reverse. <laughs> Could be an Aquarius here. This King of Cups too could be someone's spirit guide. The King of Cups is a spirit guide here. Give me more on this King of Cups upright with this King of Swords in reverse. Yeah, then we have the King of Swords in reverse, Queen of Swords upright. Something is really out of alignment. This is a mess, Capricorn. What's the King of Cups with this King of Swords in reverse? Yeah, two of wands. Somebody feels restricted. It's like somebody is supposed to be doing the inner work. Yeah, the death card, the eight of swords. Somebody feels really, really restricted here. This king of swords in reverse is... Somebody here in reverse, that's like their judgment is off. Somebody's like scatterbrained. And I feel like you feel this person like on a soul level here, but it's like something that they're not saying. They're lying about something. Their judgment is off. They're making really irrational decisions here. Like it's it's a lot of bullshit going, a lot of manipulation and just stupid shit going on right here. It's like, I ain't gonna lie. I'm gonna have to read. I'm gonna have to really clarify this when I'm done. Cause this is a mess. This reading is so scattered. This King of Cups in reverse too could be like, I don't like them in reverse. Who the fuck is that? <laughs> it's like, it's a lot of, that King of Cups in reverse is throwing me off. Somebody could be trying to get someone sent away. Yeah, the Ten of Pentacles again. Somebody could be trying to get someone set up or sent away too for like a mental problem that I feel like they don't have. It's just somebody is, I mean, somebody probably do got PTSD from dealing with all of this. This is very, who's this King of Swords in reverse? What are they, who is that? The Sun, Leo energy. So somebody here getting exposed, enlightenment. This King of Swords in reverse too could be like a dirty, some corrupt like a corrupt case going on for some of you too somebody could be trying to get someone set up in a court situation or something as well 
Child, what the fuck? Someone fears the unknown, two of wands in reverse. They fear the unknown. They, they rather stay in their comfort zone here. So I feel like somebody's spirit, even after they've been exposed, there's so something that's coming out. I feel like they're still, what's this two of wands in reverse? Okay, yeah, the Hierophant, God, Source, with the King of Cups in reverse, could be dealing with a Taurus. Someone is like stuck or restricted in some sort of like um, marriage. This could also be too, some sort of like lesson here. Two of Wands in reverse is like disappointment as well. Some sort of plan that didn't work, child. What the fuck? <laughs> That's all I can really say. Someone here is learning a lesson, a major lesson here about integrity, your self-worth, your values. Definitely something could be going on in court or somebody's trying to hold something over somebody's head in court. And I feel like they're the ones that whoever this karmic is, bro, they crazy as fuck. They the ones that probably got somebody. I feel like you've been left whoever this is alone. Somebody could be under investigation too. And they could somebody could be on the run here. They're really trying to hide. Or this could be them spiritually trying to cloak themselves. Child bye. Yeah, be careful of a crash here. I see a car, a tower, and the ten of swords. Something could be fatal. Alright, be careful. Somebody could be doing like death magic on you too, I heard. This is absolutely fucking insane <laughs> like i have never i'll be away for like three or four days and this is what comes out child you could be like on your way to work or something and then boom something happens it could be fatal so just be careful i don't know i don't like this energy Somebody's, somebody's peoples could work for like the, the legal system, but they corrupt. This could be a corrupt like cult too or something like that I keep getting. What's this nine of cups in reverse, child? The four of wands. What's this nine of cups in reverse the four of wands? Someone could have an Aries Venus. The two of cups. Yeah, you know, whatever this is, is blocked. And I feel like something, this person, <laughs> somebody here, first of all, they keep hiding their fucking feelings. The two of wands, I mean, the four of wands with the two of cups. This nine of cups in reverse is somebody that is just immature. They're very immature. They're very childish. They're very arrogant as well. Somebody here is unhappy. There could be like addictions affecting this union. Two of cups with the four of wands. Or this could be just affecting, this nine of cups in reverse could be affecting this relationship. Just, I mean, your relationships in general, Capricorn. Maybe you ain't even dealing with nobody, but it's, I mean, all this shit is coming up here. Um... But the two of cups, four of wands, for some of you, this could be a twin here you're dealing with. We did see, I did see counterparts with the queen of pentacles, king of pentacles in the beginning. But there's like a relationship here that could lead to marriage. It has a potential to be that, but somebody's being really pessimistic or they're not being positive. And then they could have some sort of addictions. For some of you, I just heard it could be sex, but it could be other shit. <clears throat> All right, that's affecting it. Or this could be something something within you that's affecting your connections in general. Somebody here could be in a marriage too. Somebody could be in something that looks good, but it's it's not. I feel like somebody is really trying to what's the four of wands? Okay, soul tribe, yeah, in reverse. <laughs> What's this two of cups? 
the ace of pentacles what and reverse this shit this is not okay so there's a big illusion here something is so good but it's so so bad like at the same time and right now the bad always the good i ain't gonna lie it's like something is so strong here but it's just a lot of fuck shit it's a lot of fuck shit here. This Ace of Pentacles in reverse. What? The Two of Cups, the Four of Wands, the Soul Tribe in reverse, and the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. Somebody is stuck in some sort of illusion. And I feel like this is you. Queen of Swords, Two of Wands. You're just sitting here waiting. Yeah, we got the Two of Wands again up here in reverse. This person is restricted or bound somewhere. And they could be stuck in some sort of like marriage. Something here that's depleting their finances. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. It's like somebody's contract is getting wiped out with you. They're blocked from getting this here with you because they chose whatever the fuck this mess is that they in. Somebody is completely like distraught. Nine of Cups in reverse. Ciao. What's the Soul Tribe card in reverse there? I don't even know what to say. <laughs> like, what's the Soul Tribe card in reverse? Yeah, the Hangman in reverse, Pisces. Somebody's intuition is blocked, bro. That crown, that third eye, that throat chakra. Something is so blocked. Damn. The Hangman in reverse with all these other cards around. Somebody needs to shift their perspective and release some shit. Could be a community of people. Could be just fucking, it could be a marriage that they in or whatever. But the hangman in reverse talks about like stagnation. It talks about some sort of negative pattern or repeat here as well. I mean, it could talk about coming out of stagnation, but it's not giving that. It's, it's giving stagnation. It's like somebody's really withdrawn from themselves, disconnected. And maybe you could be awakening to this fact. Yeah. Temperance, the Ace of Cups, yeah, the Fool. So you could be getting new love here. You're you're having you're having a leap of favor. Whoever cross watch if this is a Capricorn on this shit, then they just stuck. I don't know, but this could be you here going towards like a new beginning. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sagittarius, because somebody's contract is being like dismantled with you, and I don't know how that could be. I guess I mean. If this is a twin flame connection, did your twin, I don't know if they, they must have did something that really just fucked everything up. They fucking, they didn't do right by you. And they keep lying and shit. If this is them, I feel like they're quite depressed and they're stuck with somebody ass. It's just a mess. Whatever the fuck this is. Yeah, it's at a stalemate. Three of Wands, you're waiting, waiting, waiting. The only thing you can really rely on is your, your fucking intuition because you're definitely not getting no answers. You know? The Hangman in Reverse 2 could talk about, like, impulsiveness. So, child, give me more on this. The Magician, the Emperor, the Eight of Swords. What's the hangman in reverse? The page of pentacles. <laughs> Give me more than hangman in reverse. With the page of pentacles. Three of cups. Somebody here wants to reconcile with you and bring you a solid offer. They want to build something. But I feel like this person is so disconnected from themselves. For some of you, there's like a, there's definitely a third party here. It could be multiple people doing something behind the scenes. Could be a family. <laughs> they could have kids. Like, there could be kids and shit involved. This is really ugly. I ain't gonna lie. This is some nasty-ass energy, boy. Seven of Cups, the Will of Fortune. There could be new doors and new opportunities opening up for you. You had a death card. <laughs> Something is mm -mm -mm. 
what's this page of pentacles specifically what is this the eight of pentacles give me more on this page of pentacles with this eight of pentacles the death card scorpio somebody could dib and dab into like divination this could be what somebody does i don't know Some of you guys could do, like, you could be tarot readers and things like that. But I feel like that's you, Capricorn, with this offer. You got Virgo, Taurus, or a lot of Capricorn in your chart, or Scorpio, or whatever. But I feel like the Eight of Pentacles upright. This talks about doing a lot of self-work, a lot of introspection as well. In the Death card, this could be you going through a major shift. Your, I feel like your life is changing because of how if this is your twin or something like that cappy it's like i don't know what the fuck they're doing i ain't gonna lie that energy up there is really it's annoying as fuck i don't know what they got themselves caught up into but it's a mess and i feel like it's ruining y'all connection so you could be moving the fuck on your life is changing it's transforming okay it's something here that's been lost Somebody losing hella fucking money. I feel like, too, if they're stuck in a relationship, the longer they stay stuck in this shit, the more money they lose, the more stability they lose. They, they Both of their stupid ass getting ready to be out here broke and homeless. <laughs> I'm, I'm so serious. This energy is just absolutely ridiculous. It is. And it's like somebody is just refusing to change. I don't know if your person is into some sort of dark shit. They under spell or what the fuck. But this energy is really fucked up. It is, and it's not, yeah, justice came out. Something could be changing too in regards to your finances, your work. <laughs> Ciao. What's this three of cups? So I can move on. Too many. What's this three of cups? Yeah, nine of pentacles in reverse. So I'm going to have a Virgo Venus. Whoever this is is a fucking gold digger. They're very codependent. Very codependent. Somebody's finance. Some of y'all need to stop overspending. You guys be saying nine, nine, nine here. Somebody has a really bad addiction. Okay, too. It could be sex or it could be with with their finances. I don't know. But child. <laughs> this not a pentacles in reverse. It's definitely somebody here that, that marries for money. This is this fucking third party. And this person is just letting this third party get the best of their ass. So to keep you protected, you just need to stay away. <laughs> That's the only thing I could say. Because somebody is just really withdrawn from themselves. It's ridiculous. Yeah, the magician, the nine of cups, the five of wands. This is about fame, recognition, or attention, nine of cups, or um, some sort of self-satisfaction. I don't know what this is. Some people, These people could like do magic or something to gain. And I feel like now everybody's fighting this shit or somebody's in competition with you too. If you're seen as a nine of cups, the magician, whoever this is, is in heavy competition with you. They could be doing magic on this person. I don't feel like it's affecting you, but it's definitely affecting y'all's union. This is what I'm saying. Like it's throwing you and somebody's union off. You know, it's, so spirit is going to fucking, I feel like spirit is orchestrating things. So that way they can play out differently in your life. Yeah, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Something is just a horrible investment or it's just a waste of time or it's causing a lot of frustration. Things are being postponed, delayed, left and right. It's just too much. It's too much. So yeah, I feel like this is you. Queen of Swords, Three of Swords, Knight, Knight of Cups, the Star, the Chariot. I feel like you're heartbroken behind the situation. What's the moon? It's like you're forced to cut somebody off because of whatever this is. And I don't feel like they're telling you the truth either. What's the moon? Two 
somebody is what's the moment with the knight of pentacles knight of swords <laughs> virgo gemini Somebody here works with these moon phases, boy. Like, we just had a full moon in Cancer yesterday, was it? Child, this Knight of Pentacles, is somebody is moving hella slow towards you. This is, like, really being methodical or protective, very strategic. But the Knight of Pentacles is a hard worker, someone that just, um, they're very dependable, they're reliable. This is, like, two contradicting-ass energies, though. Knight of Swords, Knight of Pentacles, one is fast, one is slow. The Knight of Swords talks about like impulsiveness as well. So maybe you need to watch out for your impulsiveness. Because I mean, if this is magic here, somebody could be trying to like throw you off. They're trying to like put you in situations with magic to where as though you have to like keep clearing out karma or something. You just need to be careful with this. What's the Knight of Pentacles? Okay, yeah, two of pentacles in reverse. What? This 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 energy is just so crazy. Two of pentacles in reverse is like overextending yourself. It's something that's just in balance for sure. Definitely your money could be slowing down. Somebody could be fucking with your finances and everything. With your stability. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Um, and you could be trying to like figure out why or what what is going on. What's this Knight of Swords? Damn, it's no wonder why I've been all. I just haven't been like feeling doing a reading lately. It's it's this this energy is fucked up, boy. What's the Knight of Swords? And these are supposed to be like, what? The new moon brings in new beginnings. What the fuck? Yeah. <clears throat> Three of Pentacles, the devil, and the knight of cups, the knight of, the king of wands, the moon, queen of pentacles, the five of cups. Show. It's three people, three or more people working together in some sort of like fucking cold. 37, 37 on a uh, timer. What's this Knight of Swords? Seven of Cups in reverse. What's this Knight of Swords with Seven of Cups in reverse? Queen of Swords. Okay, yeah, I feel like that's you. The Judgment, Three of Pentacles, and now we have the Devil again. So I feel like you're clear on something here. Knight of Swords, there could be some major shifts and major changes coming in your life, okay? You can have air in your chart somewhere, Capricorn. But I feel like that Queen of Swords is you. You you have some sort of, like, clarity. Even though things look a little bit vague here, you have some sort of clarity. You're seeing something. Somebody here is getting ready to miss an opportunity, or they already did. And I feel like now you're just driven to kind of like move forward or there's opportunities here that you need to seize make sure you're not moving too quickly make sure you're thinking before you move too don't don't move too fast or don't let somebody try to move you too fast because you know there could be like you're just going through some changes, Capricorn. So, I mean, this could be in your love life, your career, whatever the fuck. So just really use your discernment because the moon right here, I feel like the moon is here in regards to this situation with whoever this is you're dealing with. Okay, we do have the, I mean, these are karmic couples here. Queen of Swords, upright, the King of Swords in reverse. Then we have the King of Cups, upright. King of Cups in reverse here, Queen of Cups in reverse there. So it's like, you know, something is just off between you and somebody and they karmic with a, with their own karmic. And I feel like you, you just need to fucking cut somebody the fuck off. They can ready to miss an opportunity with you, period. Just period. And whoever the fuck this was, 
or is in your life. What's this? Uh, they moving slow towards you. Give me, give me another one. This Knight of Pentacles with this Two of Pentacles in reverse. I don't even know what to make of these readings, <laughs> bro. I swear. The lovers, Gemini. Yeah, something has just spiraled out of control. This two of pentacles in reverse. Something is just off balance, out of whack here. About about lovers, about two more people, or about this third party situation. Okay, like somebody can't even keep up with whatever the fuck this is no more. It is just, it's just too much. Okay. Something is throwing you off balance too. I feel like you need to pay attention. Pay attention and slow down. Because things can be coming at you left and right. And you can end up missing out on an opportunity if you don't really, really use discernment. Okay, make wise decisions right now. Don't move too fast, I'm telling you. Because this energy is, yeah, I feel like there's just a lot of fucking, yeah, the moon, the ten of swords, and the four of pentacles. This is like a curse, a hex. It's something that somebody doing to a source to confuse you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, you know, you really need to be careful. You just do. What's the two of wands with this queen of swords? Okay, yeah, Ten of Swords in reverse here. So what's the Two of Wands with the Queen of Swords here with the Ten of Swords in reverse? You got Gemini in your chart. Okay, Queen of Wands. Who does Queen of Wands? The World in reverse. Give me, what's the Ten of Swords in reverse here? 11.22 on the clock. Page of Cups, yeah. The world in reverse, this is like a burden. This is like having to cut your losses, being quite disappointed in something because something failed here. Something definitely failed miserably. And I feel like you're really having to pick yourself up and move on. You could be healing. You're overcoming some sort of obstacle. Okay. Somebody could be wanting to come in and apologize to you. Or this is you, Page of Cups. Because the Page of Cups could talk about like innocence being open-hearted so some of you guys could be being like opening up to new dating options but make sure you're not moving too fast because i still feel like there's somebody in the background trying to hex you for no fucking reason somebody here you're not even thinking about whoever this is right and this could be their ex and they're trying to hex you and curse you not even knowing that you and this person y'all don't even talk you know what i'm saying like it, it's something like that that's going on they just need to mind their fucking business whoever this is yeah, your person in the five of wands. Whoever this is in a competition with you and they keep on like sending you negative energy for nothing. You're not even focused on this person no more. It's like, girl, get the fuck over it. Or whoever the fuck this is. Boy, girl, whatever. Ho. <laughs> they done pissed me off. What's this page of cups? Make sure you're listening to your inner voice here. Your psychic awareness could be increasing too. Yeah, thank you, Spirit. Ace of Swords. Your abilities could be amplifying, increasing, heightening, whatever. All right. Somebody got somebody stuck. Four of Pentacles with the Eight of Swords and the Cherry at the bottom of the deck. Somebody could be going to jail for stealing or, or I don't know. Somebody going to spiritual jail for hiding something or holding back or holding on to something. They ass is restricted. They're stuck. And this is you moving forward. Now all somebody could do is sit and think about you. The Six of Cups, the Judgment, and the Three of Pentacles. There's some sort of lesson here. Yeah. About the past, about a past person. There could be some sort of court situation going on too around children. But I'm getting with the Judgment right behind, with uh, the Judgment right in front of the Three of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. It's something from your past. It's a major lesson here that I feel like you learned, but I don't know if the other person learned it. I don't know if they have. I'm 
but be careful just you know what i'm saying so you won't backtrack there's there could be like new shit coming in or whatever but the ace of swords yeah this is the beginning of truth and clarity somebody has gotten maybe some clarity that you're innocent here you didn't do shit it's like all this shit or this is you i don't know but it's a whole bunch of bullshit in this reading right here let me let me pull from this deck real quick because we're we gonna have to pull because <laughs> this is a mess trauma bond abusive connection psychological damage yeah it's it's a whole bunch of like His name could be Lauren or Lori, Laura. Give me some clarity, spirit, please. <laughs> Psycho psychometry, psychometry, spiritual gift. Yeah, ability to receive visions based on touching object. Wow. That could be a gift here. That could be what's in this Ten of Pentacles. Some sort of gift here. That's the spirit. Ability to receive visions based on touching an object. Somebody could be trying to block someone's gift. That's what that Ten of Pentacles is. Or that could be with somebody's awakening to a gift of theirs. And somebody's just trying to block it. Flavor. Flavor is the spice of life. Somebody does uh, dib and dab and like, um, yeah, the moon. Somebody could could have just did something around this new moon. Um, Somebody could be studying like apothecary or somebody could be doing like spell jars. Okay, they, they don't have to be bad because I have some sitting on my tables for protection. Uh, yeah, it's for protection. But somebody here does like they. Somebody could be trying to poison someone's fucking food and some more shit here. What the fuck? To block someone, it's to block someone's like gift that they have. This Ten of Pentacles is something that your ancestors have passed down to you. That's wealth. What else, spirit? Or somebody has this gift and they're abusing it. Long awaited return. Left for a good reason. Counted, counted the days until you were back. Somebody here could work for the military. Yeah, I feel like this is you count on the days. You're tr this could be you waiting for this person. For some of you, this person, they went back somewhere. What, what else, spirit? Somebody did something to pull someone back in. Fixed. Fixed in their ways, hard to change, unmoved. That came out like sideways. History, your efforts today are making history. Your contributions will be known globally. Could be dealing with a fixed sign, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. And sun, attention to sun sign placement. So your sun sign could be significant. Somebody could have a Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius sun, or I don't know. Yeah, somebody just keeps running away. They're too stuck in their fucking ways here. Keep dealing with this stupid ass comic. They keep popping up in these damn readings, bro. I wish y'all get rid of these hoes. Intoxicating in reverse. Seduction. Can't take my eyes off of you. You're the only one I see in my room. I see in a room, I meant. High road in reverse. Take the high road, be the bigger person. And harvest in reverse. Collect the fruits of your labor. Overflowing abundance from hard work. Yeah, it's, it's I feel like because this person didn't take the high road, or whatever this is, they're stuck. I feel like you're not, you're not, you know what I'm saying? 
moving how you used to with this person because nothing is growing. This harvest in reverse is giving seven of pentacles in reverse. Nothing is growing here with this person and they've been exposed or they're being exposed or they've been exposed to something or what's going on around them, but they're still not moving or doing whatever the fuck they're supposed to be doing. And you're not, you're not as all over them like you used to be with intoxicating, seduction, or whatever the fuck this is. <clears throat> it's like you could be dating. You got, you could, I mean, you could be doing a whole lot of shit here, Capricorn, or you got other shit coming in for you. You're not tripping off of this person like how you used to. You know, like something is just not growing. It's a bad investment with the harvest in reverse. I feel like you're just going to all of a sudden decide to just walk away. And that's going to be a lesson here for whoever this is. Because they got a whole bunch of shit going on that I feel like they ain't telling you about. And it's not fair. It's not fair. Rejected. Rejection is your protection. Yeah, something is just rejected. I feel like you love somebody. But it's just so many fucking challenges here. It's so many challenges. What else? Ex-spouse. Yeah, ex-spouse is relevant. What else? Slow burn. Building up of romance slowly over time. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, this, this connection is moving pretty fucking slow. What's slow burn? Come back. Yeah, I will never leave you behind. And silver spoon. Entitled, spoil, expecting everything to be given without earning. Somebody could be doing candle magic, time traveler, premonition. Somebody could be astral traveling. That's what I just heard. Someone is doing something to keep someone stuck just so they can be taken care of. So whoever this is, it is fucking ridiculous here. What else? Someone could do a really hard drug. Okay, I just heard meth or heroin. Mm. So water sign in reverse, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Yeah, that Queen of Cups in reverse, King of Cups in reverse. They could both have water in their chart. You and your person. I mean, your person in this karmic. I don't know, but they ass is in reverse. They're emotionally immature. They're childish. Very just, I don't know. Very just immature. One of a kind. There's only one you. Be your most authentic self. I feel like that's you. Akashic Records. It's time to look into your records and mysterious. A puzzle, avant garde, whatever that is, mystifying, an enigma, undefinable. Undefinable. Yeah, somebody is trying to hack into your Akashic Records here. Somebody wants a gift of yours. Whoever this ex spouse is of this person, they want something of yours. They're trying to like swap destinies or swap out. This person has lost their fucking mind. They have lost their mind. And your person, I don't know if they're gullible, if they're naive, or if they know about this and they're not saying anything, but shame on them. What the fuck? What else? Spirit. Looks can be deceiving, pretending to be okay, falling apart internally. Yeah, I feel like you know that. Mark, your energy leaves a mark on every space you touch. Energetic imprint. Yeah, catalyst. I'm telling you, the fuel that sparked the change. What else? Nutrition. Ensure you are getting your vitamins and nutrients. Elope. Secret marriage, private and intimate. Trauma bond. Yeah, this person, this person ran off and got married to this damn person. Okay, and now they feel empty. Clean slate, no attachment, open, fortitude, courage, and adversity, dirty money. Told you somebody doing something illegal. Peter Pan, emotionally under, underdeveloped, lacks maturity, child, and an adult's body. <laughs> Anchor, spiritual attachments, breaking change, generational trauma bond. Avatar skin suit. We are spiritual beings having a physical experience. Yeah, still here. Loved one has passed away, but is always close by, just in a different form. I'm busy this weekend. Mind games. Yeah, here go the drugs. Not the good kind. I told you something. I brought. I swear. Didn't I just say something about hard drugs? Somebody does like they they could do pills or they shoot they crush them and I don't know, child. 
It's a lot going on here. Training wheels, spiritual warfare. So somebody here, is, spirit is trying to initiate somebody or help somebody go through some sort of spiritual awakening and they keep going backwards and shit. Terminally ill, wow. Saying goodbye for now. The tears let you know how much love was there. Mm. Mental health. Somebody could be... Somebody is deteriorating because of their mental health here. I don't know, man. Birthing. You are birthing something new, a creation from your soul. Yeah. Mm-mm-mm. So, guys, I thought this reading was a bit all over the place. Okay. I don't listen. I don't know what's going on, Capricorn. But hopefully you got some clarity. It just it just looks like shit is all over the place. Shit has hit the fan here. I feel like the only thing you need to be doing right now is really planning for your future. Okay, some of y'all can need to take a vacation. Shit, travel. But you are some sort of like illusion. I feel like it's clearing up for you, though. You're overcoming some sort of like adversity and mess. And I feel like you're realizing that somebody here portrayed to be something that they were not to you. And that's what you're getting clarity about. You know, there's going to be some sort of breakthrough. For some of you, this is breakthrough in communication from this person. But this could just be a breakthrough within yourself, okay? And knowing where, where it is that you need to go and what you need to do. Okay, I feel like you're, you know, I don't know, man, but this was your reading, though, guys. I hope that this resonated. Okay, <laughs> let me know in the comments what's going on. <laughs> like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on, press the all button so you won't miss any of my readings, and I'll talk to you all later. Bye.